With that in mind, it's not that easy to develop apps. Creating mobile applications takes and involves a lot of knowledge and expertise, some thought and a fair share of practice. It also requires a collaboration between, but not limited to, artists, marketing and salespeople. That's why we sought to find out the process of creating a simple app. Having a great idea is just a starting point into every project. But to actually get off the ground, you need to start off with a mission. And if your mission is an app, planning is the name of the game. Once you ask yourself what the purpose of your mobile app is, what it's going to do, and what its core appeal will be, you're ready to get the ball rolling. Creating an app can be done in 10 simple steps. One, establish whether the consumer needs a product and whether there is something that needs to be fixed or improved. Two, work on a mobile strategy. Does it make sense in the mobile world? Three, figure out whether your app makes any commercial sense. Once you've answered those questions, the fun part starts. Four, create mock-ups of what needs to be made. Five, start designing below the iceberg. These are the things that go unseen but make your app work, like cloud providers, etc. Six, once you've done all this, you'll need to create the look and feel of your app. Seven, make your app practical by creating clickable prototypes. Eight, now you can build the software with the tool set that you've decided on. Nine, test your app and perform daily builds. And number 10, you're ready to get your app onto the App Store. Building your first app can be a challenging experience, especially if you're new to the process. I think one of the, the really big myths that comes about in mobile development, particularly in the local marketplace, is the idea that you're going to build an app, it's going to take a few weeks, and then suddenly you're going to be the next Mark Zuckerberg. But the truth of the matter is, anything that's done well is hard. You know, nothing takes as long as an overnight sensation, and I think you see that to be true with apps as well. As far as apps getting it wrong, it's not about what's happening on the phone, it's about the audience that they're going to be able to deliver. I think in the South African context, particularly with apps, a lot of people forget that the total engaged number of users in this country is you know, similar to a Midwestern US city. So they look at models that work in a country of 350 million people and they try and make it work in our economy of 55 million. Of those 55 million, only five and a half million actually have smartphones that are capable of running apps. And therefore they're trying to address things where there isn't actually a market. They build great product and then the product doesn't actually find a foothold because there aren't enough people. In order to develop the perfect app, the correct tools need to be implemented in the creation. But if you've messed up on that front, there is still a chance to save the day. Fundamentally, you need to be looking for a cross-platform solution, whether that's using a native cross-platform solution such as Xamarin, whether that be something like what Facebook is releasing in terms of React OS, whether that be something like Cordova in the, in the phone gap space. There are many different options that are out there, but if you are dedicating yourself to having a separate code base for each handset, then almost certainly you're leading yourself to a very long walk of a very short pier. In short, if you're looking to join the app revolution, just remember these key points. Mobile development is all about product knowledge, expertise, and great people. That means you and the people building your mobile app will need to have high EQs, great ideas, and naturally, a passion for mobile.